hello my dear student hope you all are well and you are most welcome to today's uh, short video today uh, i'm going to talk on albuminuria and proteinuria from your very early medical school life you heard from your teacher albuminuria and proteinuria and there are uh, so much uh, number of Mm, range of proteinuria and albuminuria and you have to memorize this number and sometimes you find that it is very difficult to memorize very difficult to correlate between the proteinuria and albuminuria and it, you sometimes find that both the term are uh, equal but actually albuminuria and proteinuria are not equal they are different and they have different clinical importance now uh, come to the point Proteinuria means presence of protein in urine and albuminuria means presence of albumin in urine. Albumin itself a protein. Protein urea means protein in the urine. In urine protein are two types high molecular weight protein and low molecular weight protein. Albumin is a high molecular weight protein. And albumin only can pass through the glomerular membrane and albumin cannot be reabsorbed by the renal tubules. On the other hand, low molecular weight protein pass through the glomerular basement membrane and can be reabsorbed completely through the renal tubular cell. And again, the renal tubular cell can secrete some low molecular weight protein that can pass through the urine. Usually, normally, our urine has protein less than 150 milligram per day. And maximum of this 150 milligram protein is low molecular weight low molecular weight and these low molecular weight protein are tubular in origin i repeat again low molecular low molecular uh, low sorry low molecular weight protein and high molecular weight protein both can pass through the glomerular basement membrane but the low molecular weight protein can be reabsorbed completely through the renal tubular cell and high molecular weight protein cannot be reabsorbed. Again, renal tubular cell can secrete some low molecular weight protein again. And these low molecular weight protein actually we pass every day, which are in total less than 150 milligram. And these low molecular weight protein, which are tubular in origin, are known as TAM has fall protein. T A double M horse fall A S O R S fall protein. Okay. So our daily uh, protein urea is less than 150 milligram, and among these 150 milligram total protein, there are a very little amount of albumin that is less than 30 milligram per day. So these 30 milligram albumin of course inside this 150 milligram of total protein and inside the total protein maximum maximum are low molecular weight protein and remaining a smaller portion are albumin that is high molecular weight protein now this is the normal range albumin urea normally less than 30 milligram per day and total protein urea normally less than 150 milligram per day now microalbuminuria when albumin level in our urine from 30 milligram to 300 milligram per day and that time the total protein urea range from 150 milligram to 500 milligram per day this is called microalbuminuria when the albumin range from 30 to 300 milligram and that time proteinuria total protein 
including albumin is 150 to 500 milligram per day and now the point is why it is called albumin uh, microalbuminuria there is a test that is called deep stick test a strip that can detect presence of protein in your urine normally deep stick test is negative that means less than 150 milligram total protein cannot be detected by the deep stick test actually deep stick test can detect the protein total protein more than 500 milligram per day so when your urine contain more than 500 milligram protein only then deep stick test will be positive and normally it is negative in microalbuminuria look here in microalbuminuria total protein urea protein in your urine is less than 500 so in this case deep stick test will be negative but as the term albuminuria has a greater clinical importance so to identify to identify the microalbuminuria in a patient most importantly in diabetic patient is very important as because in this stage in the stage of microalbuminuria deep stick test is negative but patient already have albuminuria and this albuminuria is called microalbuminuria my here micro means low level low volume albumin itself a high molecular weight protein but here the term is microalbumin microalbuminuria means micro means low amount low amount of high molecular weight albumin pass through your urine so the term is microalbuminuria when deep stick test is negative and total protein is less than 500 milligram per day now next next section where the proteinuria more than 500 milligram per day and albuminuria more than 300 milligram per day only in this stage at this stage your deep stick test become positive and before this level your deep stick test is negative so deep stick test negative means proteinuria total proteinuria less than 500 but your protein may have significant amount of albuminuria so at this stage to detect to detect microalbuminuria patient should be recommended for screening test of microalbuminuria now the last point very much confusing massive proteinuria and massive albuminuria when to say massive proteinuria is when total proteinuria is more than 3.5 gram per day and massive albuminuria when total albumin is more than 3 gram per day and at this stage your deep stick test will be 4 plus so these two uh, two figure sometimes confusing and patient may and the student may amalgamate these two figures. When you use the proteinuria, then the massive proteinuria will be more than 3.5. And when you use the term albuminuria, then massive albuminuria will be more than 3.0 gram per day. Okay. So I uh, uh, recapsulate shortly albuminuria proteinuria and deficit taste normal albuminuria less than 330 mg per day proteinuria less than 150 mg per day remind that this albumin included inside this protein microalbuminuria when albumin range 30 to 300 mg and proteinuria 150 to 500 mg per day and deficit taste here negative severe albuminuria though this this term is not useful for your clinical importance however 
uh, albuminuria severe when there is more than 300 milligram and proteinuria more than 500 milligram and for the first time at this stage when total protein becomes more than 500 milligram your deficit test become positive and the last point is massive proteinuria when there is 3.5 gram per day protein pass through your urine and albuminuria massive albuminuria when more than 3 gram protein per day pass through your urine and to detect total protein or total albumin in spot urine there is the test that is called SCR and PCR SCR and PCR albumin creatinine ratio and protein creatinine ratio these SCR and PCR can be detected on single spot urine single spot urine total to detect the total protein urea and total albuminuria patient need to storage uh, 24 hours urine and these 24 hour urines to be brought to your lab that can be clumsy that can be inaccurate and to avoid this problem ACR and PCR can be better option and sometimes ACR is better than PCR but ACR is very uh, needs very sensitive assay technique and it can be expensive okay thank you thank you very much